But this scientist says there is one species of raptor that has been known to attack primates. When they make a kill, the kill usually takes place very quickly. There's a very, very vicious strike that uh, the, a raptor comes down, hits the animal very suddenly, very violently. Scott McGraw is associate professor of anthropology and primatology at Ohio State University. In 1998, he traveled to Africa to the Thai rainforest of the Ivory Coast. Here he studied more than 600 bones from modern day monkeys, collected from underneath the nests of African crowned eagles. His conclusion, that these eagles prey regularly on small primates. And if that's true, it's reasonable to expect that early hominids were also pursued by large raptors three to five million years ago. With its taste for primate flesh, could the crowned eagle have been the bird that attacked Marlon Lowe? Based upon what I've heard, I know that they are capable of killing at least small humans. But is there proof? One man's study in Africa may yield it. Scott McGraw sifted through the bones of hundreds of monkeys found under the nests of African crowned eagles. In 2006, he announced his findings. That these eagles were regularly killing monkeys as big as 20 pounds. As further proof, he and other scientists point to the skeletons discovered in a lime quarry in Tong, South Africa, in 1924. Based upon what we know, the damage that they leave on the skulls of their prey today, we can use that to interpret the past, which is where this Tong child comes in. Experts noted that the Tong child, a three to four year old known as Australopithecus africanus, had unique markings in its skull. For decades, these holes were interpreted as proof that the child was killed by a leopard or saber-toothed cat. But in January of 2006, paleoanthropologists announced that the Tong child had been killed by a single blow, a 14-centimeter-long talon that pierced the brain. The evidence? Small punctures and keyhole slots inside the eye sockets had been created when the eagle used its beak to eat out the child's eyes and brain. Modern African crowned eagles are known to attack primates weighing as much as 24 pounds, at least as much as the Tong child. And markings in the eye sockets of the Tong child are identical to markings Scott McGraw found in monkey skulls he examined. These are photographs of the uh, original Tong fossil. The outline here shows the, the broken edge of the orbital floor in the Tong fossil. And this is the broken edge of the orbital floor in a monkey from the Thai forest. We know this was killed by a crowned eagle based upon the similarity and damage. We believe that the Tong child was killed by a, either a crowned eagle or something very similar. But do crowned eagles hunt modern man? There are reports from, from various localities in Africa that crowned eagles have preyed upon humans. Um, there are reports in East Africa. I think a seven-year-old child was nearly killed in Zambia. Uh, there is a story that a, a, a juvenile human skull was found in a nest of a crowned eagle in Zimbabwe. I believe these, these individuals were believed to have weighed something around 15 or 20 pounds. A raptor attack is a particularly gruesome way to meet one's end. A raptor comes down, hits the animal very suddenly, very violently. The, the uh, chest cavity and the abdominal cavity are opened up quickly and the organs are, are ripped out. And the eyes and face are, are processed as well.